haven't done a film, uh, a YouTube video for about two months, mainly because uni has been stressing me out. I'm in my final year, um, blah de blah, and I've just had all my deadlines, so I've got some time this weekend, so I thought this is the perfect opportunity to film a fashion haul, yay! So I'm going to start with bottoms that I have purchased this month. I've decided to start my wardrobe from fresh. So I am selling lots of my clothing on my shop and I'll link that below as well as my vintage shop which is now up and running um, which I will be doing a whole separate video on showing you the items that are available on my shop there. I found these on ASOS. They're the, I think they're like called the Ridley, Ridley jeans. Uh, they have big cuts in the knee. They're a lot larger than what I was expecting actually. Got these in the size that I would get my Topshop jeans in and they're a little bit bigger so I would suggest getting a smaller waist just because I think ASOS jeans are a little bit bigger. So they're really oversized cut and they're skinny at the bottom and they're really versatile to wear with anything. Knee boots, boots, especially Chelsea boots, they look amazing with Chelsea boots. Um, shirts, jumpers, these are my favourite pair of winter jeans. It's really funny because when you're, when I wear them, the old generation are always looking at me like, does that girl know she's got rips in her jeans? Or, oh, she must be so cold. It's really, really funny. Another item that I got on ASOS is these slinky trousers. They're not something I would normally go for. I styled these with a white cami top. They're a really nice material. I'm really scared to iron them because I am the worst ironer ever. My Zara sandals are my favourite thing to wear these with. I don't think I have any other shoes that I would wear them with. Maybe some court shoes, which I haven't got my hands on yet, but a pair of court shoes would go really nicely with these. And now for tops. I have been loving shirts at the moment. I want to feel more sophisticated, so I've been buying so many shirts lately. This one is it was from ASOS, um, it's three quarter length sleeve, which I like because then you can accessorise your wrists. Um, and it was from ASOS, but it's from Paul and Bear, or is it Paul and Bear? I don't know. But it zips here, it's really nice material, and it just goes with everything. Like there's so many days I wake up and I just want to throw a pair of jeans on and a white shirt. This is the white shirt to get, and it's only £20, so if you get student discount on ASOS, obviously that's brilliant. Um, yeah, this is it. Another shirt that I got was from Zara. I wore this with a pair of blue jeans from Topshop. It's kind of like a boyfriend styled shirt. I love that kind of, I'm just putting my boyfriend shirt, shirt on look. So this is why I got that. That was my inspiration for it. It's cute. Feels like I've gone a bit stripe obsessed because I also got this striped shirt from ASOS. And I also, I'm like a walking ASOS girl. This shirt here this is a wrap shirt so it's coral and white it has really tight sleeves on the wrist and it comes to your waist and it wraps all the way to the right hand side nice with a black lace bra underneath i'm really obsessed with how fashion toast styles her camis like she'll have a really thin cami strap top and a thick strap triangle lace bra and I think it, it does add such a sexy feel to outfit. And then some dresses that I brought. I went to quite a few events over the past few weeks. So this is the ASOS wrap dress and I just think it's a really nice dress for New Year's Eve all the way down to like your navel and it's a big V here. At the bottom it wraps around so it's kind of like a tulip shape at the bottom. It's in white and red and black. I really wanted the white, but I think it's all sold out. I went to the Motel Rocks event a few weeks ago. The first so many people there got to pick an item of their choice and then it would, it would be sent to you. I picked this little number. It's just a plain black velvet dress. A see-through lace panel in and it goes all the way down to the bottom of your back. When I pick dresses I always pick something that has key detail. I think this dress is perfect because obviously it will show all the way down just to the probably like the top of your bottom. This is from motel.com 
and it's £48. I'll probably wear this over Christmas with um, a gold necklace, red lips and some stilettos. I need red bottom shoes, that's why. So moving away from dresses, I will now talk about knitwear. Tis the season, is it not, for jumpers. I'm going to start with my Christmas jumper. I was kindly sent this by Neela. I was in their Christmas catalogue. I'm going to show you. Here we go, here I am. Ah. They kindly sent me vouchers and then they asked me if I would like to pick a Christmas jumper. And of course I couldn't say no to a Christmas jumper. This, can you see that it's lighting up? Oh, you can't see. His nose lights up. Oh, there we go. This is from their petite section. Um, and it's 29.99, but it's so much fun. It lights up. No more Christmas jumpers. That's it. That's the only Christmassy thing in this whole video. The next jumper I'm going to show you is kind of Christmas colours. It's gold. So this was from Fashion Union. It comes in one size. So I I was quite cautious um, choosing this because when it's one size, you don't really know what to expect. When it comes to jumpers, I like them to be baggy rather than tight just because I tend to layer loads of stuff underneath. I, it only being available in one size, it was definitely going to be too big for me rather than too small so I didn't really mind that. It looks huge um, but once it's on, it, it's nice. It is really nice. I would wear this with leather leggings, a pair of boots. I think black leather leggings will have the most impact just because the hint of black in the gold and then a nice leather jacket. I was also kindly sent this lovely cardigan from Great Plains Boutique. Um, I don't I don't really know how to explain it but this is it. It's such a gorgeous colour. It's definitely my colour. Um, but this, if you can see this part here is part of a scarf so you can also wrap it around your neck. It looks really, really nice. Like it has like a draping effect. This is it. It's really heavy. Um, it's definitely, definitely worth the money. And it has this cute. You can see the bobble effect. I was sent this from Shiera. I think I think this is how you say it. Shierafashion.com. Um, it really reminded me of Fame. As soon as I put it on, I thought I was. A fame girl. I start this with boyfriend jeans and white boots so it's great if you just want a basic jumper to go with anything and it's a nice one to lounge around the house in as well. If you saw on my blog I done a wish list with mango and I love the things that mango do. It's very very similar to Zara I, I personally think. I love that ASOS do mango. So I got this jumper it's just a wax jumper um, these sleeves, I got this in a size small but I kind of wish I got it in a medium just because it's quite tight and I can wear it over a shirt like this but if it's anything thicker I can't. I want to wear this, I haven't worn it yet, but with a pair of pale blue jeans with Chelsea boots, maybe a white shirt underneath and a big black handbag. The next pair of boots. Since I was sent them, I haven't been able to stop wearing them just because they go with absolutely anything. These are suede cutout boots with gold buckles. See the gold buckles? And they are from She Likes Fashion. They have a zip at the back, they're really comfortable. The heel are a bit higher than the ones that you'd normally see, which I like as well. These make your outfit just feel a little more dressed up. And now going on to accessories. Accessories. I also got this from ASOS. A fur collar and it does up here. So it has a catch here and here. So it doesn't blow away and it's fake fur. It's really nice. It's a nice length as well. It comes to my belly button. I love putting this with my leather jacket. But even if you don't want to wear a leather jacket, you want to dress an outfit up and you're not going to wear a jacket. Here is a great example of how I would wear it. They have this in a really nice um, pastel pink and I really, really want it. And they have it in a black, a darker colour as well. Um, yeah. So, so. 
when I wore my ASOS plunge dress, obviously I didn't want all of the distraction to be on my cleavage. I wanted to get something for my wrists. So I got these cuffs from ASOS. They're quite big. They're, they're not very tight. I had to really, if you can see how thin they are, it doesn't fit on my arm. Um, I have to really force it, but they kind, they kind of move about, and I really wanted them to stay put. If you're strong enough and you can squeeze them down to the size, it's just the case of squeezing them when they're on and then trying to get them off after. They also came with a ring. For all three of these items, it was £18. I also got these earrings from New Look. They're just a triangle shape with black in the center they were really cheap like 2 dollars or 3 dollars going on to rings i got these these are from new look again i got these in a size small because the medium they would have fall, fell off so i'm kind of an in between of a small and a medium in new look rings i can only wear these rings on this finger here they're a pack of four for 7 dollars Thanks for watching my video and have a lovely Christmas if I don't do a video before then and make sure you go and visit my blog.